Hello everyone, welcome to your morning coffee. This is the weekend edition. So this is going to be an energy read for the weekend of October 19th to the 21st, okay? So this is probably gonna be a little bit of, a, little bit of an extended reading, um, just a little bit, because you know we're covering three days. So I'm already feeling like I'm gonna pull, uh, I'm gonna do like two pulls or so, or something. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go. I'm kind of winging it, winging it at the moment. But in any event, it's going to be. Other than that, it's gonna be pretty normal. I'm gonna end the reading with oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck, and also from the Whispers of Love. Since we still are in Venus in retrograde, y'all, that's going down until about November fifteenth. So ugh, we still have about a month of it left. So anyway. Let's all settle in and get to it, yeah? Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages for the weekend of October 19th to the 21st. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Um, I just want to put this out there. Please excuse like any sniffles or any sneezing or anything. My allergies are acting up today, and it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun at all. But here we go. October, October 19th to the 21st. So I'm seeing yellow, okay, which is what I saw yesterday. Um, so I really feel like this is... Again, I'm seeing Eight of Wands energy. So this is quick, decisive movement in a direction that you want to be going in, okay? I really feel like the purging that we went through last weekend was extremely clearing, okay? Also, uh, keep a lookout. I'm going to be doing a reading. Well, it's not going to be a reading. It's going to be like a little discussion just on like dealing with purging, en purging energies and... Um, triggers and all that. Someone did request that. I have not forgotten. Um, I am going to get to that, okay? But I'm seeing also, I'm seeing green. Um, so this is heart chakra. This is heart chakra healing. Um, your heart chakra might be pretty open this weekend. You might be open and receptive to, you know, um, social settings, friends. Um, now, in the pre-shuffle... In the pre-shuffle, before I started the reading, before I started the video, um, the Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups came out. It jumped out. Um, and so there could be, you know, it could be a pretty celebratory weekend. You could be spending time with friends, family, but there's also going to be, there's, I also feel like there's a bit of illusion surrounding things. Um, I want to caution people against getting too wrapped up or too caught up um, in some sort of social setting because I really feel like it's probably not going to be what you think it is with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups, okay? Um, but either way, you know, for the weekend, I'm feeling bright and vibrant energy, especially with this yellow energy. So with yellow, um, I'm also getting communication. Uh, just direct action. Okay. 19th to the 21st. I'm going to give it one more shuffle, and then we're going to see what comes out here. Cool. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got here. 19th to the 21st. Here, please. Best messages. 19th to the 21st of October. 2018. I'm definitely seeing green here. So this is definitely an open heart chakra. Um, I feel, I just feel like there's probably going to be a lot of communication, maybe with some new friends. Here we go. Oh, look, there's the moon again. See, I told you, I told you there are things going to really gonna happen that are not going to be, wow, what they seem. Okay, just going to do one more pull, but I'm going to stop here for now. Good Lord, <laughs> we've got the moon, we've got the world. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles, all right? So both the Moon and the Queen of Pentacles came out yesterday. Okay. Um, so there's definitely an ending to a cycle here, all right? An ending to a cycle. Um, ow, ooh. 
I just dropped my amethyst. As a result, there are some that could be going through a dark night of the soul here. Interesting. I'm getting that from the moon. Uh, ooh, we got the two of cups in reverse. We've got the ace of wands and we've got the, oh, we've got the three of swords. Good Lord. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Especially with the two of cups in reverse here. Something is over. All right. The two of cups in reverse and the world. There was some sort of relationship, some sort of partnership that has come to an end now. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling like there's a bit of a, there's a there's a bit of a release, um, I, and I think I think what this really what this is really saying is um, something has finally been released a partnership um, a soulmate connection whatever whatever that is has finally been released okay um, yeah. and that could be why there are some individuals that are going through a bit of a dark night of the soul. Um, and it's probably because someone someone didn't think it would actually end. Either actually end or end this way is what I heard. Okay. Um, now, the reason for this is because of the Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Um, this is... This is both a past energy and a current energy simultaneously. Um, and what I'm feeling here, both parties probably could be feeling this heartbreak, but I feel like this is, for f for this moment in time, this is a, one person or one and one half of the part of this dynamic of whoever this, whatever this Two of Cups is. Excuse me. One half is feeling this heartbreak more than the other. But this is only because the one that's not feeling it so much already went through it, okay? Um, see, but in the middle of the reading here, we have the Ace of Wands. So this is inspiration, okay? This is um, this is a new idea. Um, this is a new creative venture. This could this is actually the energy that I'm just picking up on that's really giving to this yellow energy, which is the clear, concise movement direction, the direction of the will, okay? Um, and then underneath the deck you have the Queen of Pentacles. So uh, this is that person that yesterday that came out as the Queen of Pentacles is sorry guys, motorcycles, <laughs> um, is very decisive, very done with the situation is what I'm hearing. Yeah. But they're inspired, okay? They're very much inspired to move forward with their lives, to keep trucking, to keep moving. Um, a cycle has ended, and that's a really good thing. I... I can't tell if I want to pull again. I'm hearing pull some clarifiers. All right. So we're going to get into some clarifiers here. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to clarify this Three of Swords. So give me just a second here. I'm going to clarify the Three of Swords first. So, for the Three of Swords, what do we have here? Three of Swords, please, here, from the 19th to the 21st. Three of Swords. Please put up the Three of Swords. We got, uh -huh, the Nine of Swords. Woo! Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Underneath the deck is the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So this is something that someone is really, someone really invested a lot of time, a lot of energy into this situation that is reckoned being by, uh, by the, oh boy, by the Three of Swords. So we've got the moon again, okay? Now what this is saying to me is there were secrets, there were lies, there was deceit, there was concealment um, as part of this situation. And that was the biggest part of this heartbreak here with the Three of Swords. But you see, someone, Someone figured some shit out <laughs> with the Ace of Swords and was like, no, 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 um, this is not happening anymore. We've got the King of Swords, so that's discernment there. That's the first thing I heard when I saw the King of Swords. And as a result, 
we've got someone else that's now all up in anxiety and in their head and is trying is like f spying keeping tabs on watching wanting to know what's going on trying to figure out what happened trying to figure out why this situation ended but at this point it really should be no mystery it really shouldn't um and if it is a mystery that's unfortunate for whoever because someone someone figured it out okay even though even though there was all this look we've got the moon twice okay so even though there was all this i want to say treachery and and i guess i should, i guess you can say that because it's coupled with it's it's with here it's with the 3 of swords the moon can talk about treachery sometimes but the official treachery card would be like the 7 of swords or the 3 of swords but it's officially the 7 of swords but somebody figured it out Either someone figured it out. Now, I, and, and the only reason I'm saying someone figured it out is because we've got the Ace of Swords here. This is the aha moment. This is seeing things clearly. So either someone figured it out or someone was just like, I'm done with this moon energy, with all of this deceit, this deception, the lies, the secrets, the, the you know, the concealment. I'm done with the concealment. I would, so someone is basically, in their moment of discernment, they're taking their sword and they're saying, I would much rather there be... Uh, be a part of a situation that's truthful and honest, then that's wrapped up with all of this deceit and lies and, and secrets. And so somebody, and here we have the Ace of Wands, okay? I'm going to clarify this too. I'm also going to clarify the Two of Cups. Um, but as a result of someone getting their aha moment, someone, you know, using their discernment, and even with and with the King of Swords here, I'm not getting an energy of, of negativity, of... Um, um, of malice or anything. This is straight up logic, like literally straight up logic. It's like, all right, y'all want to be, <laughs> okay, cool. You want to play games. You want to, you want to lie. You want to keep things from, from whoever, then you're getting cut out. <laughs> you're getting cut out with the ace of swords. Okay. And now as a result, someone's all anxious up in their head and is spying, trying to figure out why. But the, first, but the main thing I'm hearing is there is literally no reason for you to not know, okay, for you to not know why this is happening. Because this Ace of Swords goes for both sides of the, the, both sides of the equation. The person that's cutting, cutting out the bullshit and the other one that was, uh, that was playing games, that was, being with, that was doing this moon shit right here, okay? There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't know at this point. Ten of Pentacles. A lot of time and investment was placed into this. And this is why, this is why it's coming out as the Three of Swords. Be mostly, mainly, I'm feeling like mainly because of this Ten of Pentacles. Someone really invested time and energy into this situation with hopes that it would turn into something, uh, something better. You know, it would blossom into a partnership. Obviously, we want, there was a partnership desired here with the Two of Cups. Okay, um, so next I want to clarify this Ace of Wands here because I really feel like someone is super inspired. Super inspired, okay? So let's, here we go. <laughs> what did I tell you? Someone's super inspired here. The King of Wands. Okay. So someone knows exactly what they want at this point and they're going for it. And, wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That was really loud. But here we have, now we have the star. Okay. Healing is happening. And underneath the deck is judgment. Someone woke up. Either someone woke up or someone's been awake and now they're finally answering the call. We're going to put judgment right here. And under, oh boy, underneath that, we have the six of cups. Six of cups appeared yesterday underneath the deck. All right, so this Ace of Wands here, this is the inspiration, the calling towards a soulmate, okay? And it's so crazy because yesterday, the, I mean, these, it's really interesting how these energies are really flowing and they're recurring themes coming up day by day. Yesterday, judgment came out. The star came out. The moon came out yesterday also. And now it's come out twice here today, okay? So like, look, guys, we're, Wow. So, okay, with the Ace of Wands here, with the Ace of Wands here, someone got it. Someone gets it, okay? And actually, 
dealing with this three of cups, I'm sorry, three of swords energy here. Someone um, dealt with the contrast. Someone knows exactly what, has a better understanding of what they want now. And they're moving forward with it. They're following their intuition. They're following the light of the star. They're following the light of the universe, which is this judgment call here. Okay. And they're... With the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups is giving me a few things, actually. The first thing is that there, someone is manifesting a soulmate, in the process of manifesting a soulmate. Also, though, someone is reminiscent on the past. They are taking this Ace of Swords situation, and they're not forgetting what happened in the past. There's no way they could. There's no way you could, okay? Um, and you're really using that as your foundation to move forward, as your inspiration to move forward towards something better. I just want to clarify next, I want to clarify this Two of Cups in reverse. <laughs> well, look at the, look at here. The Empress is under, it is, um, she, she, apparently she wanted to show. I'm not going to take that for the Two of Cups, but she flipped out here. Um, and the Empress did come out earlier in the week. So this is very abundant energy. But let's clarify this Two of Cups here in reverse. Two of Cups. Wow, we've got the Four of Wands so far. Okay. Let's see, what else? Do we actually... <laughs> and I was... Okay. I was guided... I was guided to look underneath the deck. The Lovers. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that one. <laughs> and underneath that is the Chariot. All right, so look, guys. There's a lot of... There's a lot of movement. Okay, um, with the Two of Cups in reverse, someone really has released this, whatever this relationship has been. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say that the release of this relationship, I just heard it, the release of this relationship is for good. But it's for good because of, oh, sorry guys, truck. Okay, it's the release of this relationship for good because of, The manipulation, the tomfoolery, the 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 deception, the lies, the vibrational reality. It's low in vibration, okay? And someone really has a desire to cut that out of their lives. And actually that falls right in line with what we've been dealing with this weekend with all of that purging energy, okay? Um, not this weekend, last weekend and over this past week. Some people have gotten to the point where they're just... They're just cutting out the low vibrational energy because it doesn't serve them anymore, which falls right in line with the ascension process of the planet, okay, of the universe, of existence, everything. This is this ascension process that light workers he are here to help assist with. This is like galactic, all right. This is universal. This is ex this is way bigger than just our planet or our solar system, okay. And so because of this, people are really just starting to cut out the low vibrational energy, okay? Um, so with the Two of Cups in reverse here, <laughs> you've got the Lovers and the Four of Wands. A choice was made. Why was that choice? What was that choice? The choice for greater foundation, greater stability, to actually go after what it is that's going to serve the highest good, that's going to bring in this Four of Wands, this union energy, and this, okay, and for those twin flames out there, because you do have the twin flames, um, you do have twin flame cards here. You've got the four of wands, which is twin flame union. You've got the lovers. You've also got the king of wands. And to me, that is the divine masculine here. But this is not specific to twin flames. But for those twin flames out there, union doesn't just have to be with your divine masculine or your divine feminine, okay? I keep saying that I'm going to do this. I haven't gotten around to it, but I do want to make a video talking about what I know, what I've come to understand the twin flame journey is, all right? And what I'm picking up right here is union does not have to be with your divine... The universe is saying this. Union does not have to be with your divine masculine or your divine feminine. Union is, number one, um, union between masculine and feminine energies within you, okay? And from there... From that resonant, from that place of vibrational reality with of the union within, you then attract a partner into your life that will bring union without. 
okay? Just because you might be a twin flame and you're doing your work, whether you're Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, and your counterpart isn't necessarily following suit, is moving slower, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, whatever the case may be, that does not mean that you have to be alone. If you choose to pull in a soulmate or whatever, or even maybe a karmic, but I would I would recommend a soulmate because karmics tend to karmic relationships tend to be pretty tumultuous and very rough. Um, but it's up to you. It really, honestly, it really just depends on where you are on your journey. But if you pull in another partner, that is a union of sorts. Now, depending on the vibrational reality, it could be smooth sailing and loving and beneficial. Well, I guess they would. Well, I don't know. But but depending on the vibrational reality of the, the relationship, that will depict. That will depend. That will um, you know. That will. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh goodness, I'm going. I'm drawing a blank here. But that will, depending on the vibration that you're in, that will dictate. There we go. Dictate. Uh, you know the vibrational reality of the relationship. But the universe is saying to us right now that you. When you come into union with yourself, you then draw someone that will bring union without, whether that's your twin or not, okay? So someone made a choice. Some people are making a choice. A lot of us actually are making this choice right now because we're done with the games and we're done with low vibrational realities, okay? <laughs> and someone's up in their head about it with the nine of wands, I'm sorry, the nine of swords and the page of swords, and they're trying to figure out what the F happened. But we choose, but people are choosing union now, whether that's with divine masculine or not, divine feminine or not. We're choosing happiness, we're choosing stability, okay? So that's what this is talking about here. And people are moving to forward, moving forward, all right? Absolutely moving forward. Okay, so that was the first half of your weekend. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a second pull now, so I'm going to reset Bear with me for just a second here. We're going to reset really quickly, really quickly, and see what we get for the second half of the weekend, yeah? And then we're going to... And then we're going to... Whoops. <laughs> no, I'm not taking notes. And then we'll get into the Oracle cards, okay? So bear with me here. Let me just reset a little bit. Okay, guys. Excellent. All right. So, for the second half of your weekend, closing out your weekend. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. There's that three of cups that I was talking about. So this came out in the... Um, in the pre-shuffle, and this is the energy that I was picking up on, okay? there's I'm picking up social gatherings, um, maybe some celebrations for you. Um, yeah. Oh, goodness, there's so many cards that are... Oh, <laughs> it's the Three of Cups again. It just did not want to turn other, uh, the other way. All right, so for the second half of the weekend here... Ooh, uh-oh, okay. All right, so underneath the deck is the Page of Wands. And to me, the Page of Wands is very much about self-discovery, all right? Um, very much about self-discovery. Uh, but it is now, especially with that Ace of Wands that came out in the beginning of the reading, this is the, the venture forward. This is the movement forward. This is getting started. This is just moving forward in what you desire to create, okay? We have... Uh-oh! My, my, my. We've got the Knight of Swords. We've got the King of Swords again. We've got the Nine of Swords again. The Fool. Wow. Judgment. And the Page of Cups. Wow, guys. <laughs> this is pretty intense. So, all right. With the, not, with the Page of Wands, someone's definitely moving forward. Period. Okay? Period. Someone is moving forward. Okay. With the Knight of Swords energy here, um, this is an energy of communication. Somebody wants to communicate. Somebody wants to talk. But what I'm getting with this Knight of Swords energy is this is like very much 
shoot first, ask questions later, okay? This is someone that um, doesn't necessarily... It's interesting because I'm feeling kind of like a page of swords energy here because someone doesn't really know how to communicate effectively, all right? And I feel like that's a lot of why the king of swords is here, okay? Someone um, is just cutting this out. And of course, we've got anxiety here. All right. Um, it's so interesting. Okay, so the Fool. So the Knight of Swords and the Fool. This is someone, this is wanting to start over, um, but this is, this is energy of just like not really thinking things through, just jumping for something. Um, and I feel like there's a desire to reconcile here, okay? Because we have one individual that's got the King of Swords energy and the Judgment card, all right? So resurrection, wanting to start over. Um, this could also be reconciliation. But what's flanking this person is the Fool and the Knight of Swords with the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. So this is, to me, this is the Page of Cups, this is an apology. Someone knowing that they need to apologize or someone knowing that there needs to be some sort of reconciliation here, but all up in their head about it with the Nine of Swords, they don't know how to do it, okay? Wow. This is really interesting, guys. All right, I'm going to clarify again. Um, what I want to clarify right now, for the most part... I want to clarify this Knight of Swords here. What is this? What is this communication that wants to come in? Um, it doesn't. I'm going to be quite honest, guys. It doesn't feel too good. The Knight of Swords and the Fool here. It's. I'm seeing. The King of Swords and Judgment. This is one person here. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave it like this, but um, this is one person, and what's surrounding them is another person or a situation that's just like, I don't even know how to put it into words. It's, um, it's definitely an anxious energy. Someone that wants to share some sort of emotion, but doesn't know how to do it, is what I just heard. And this combination of the Knight of Swords and the Fool um, is pretty deadly. <laughs> is really deadly. Again, shoot first, ask questions later. I'm going to clarify the two of these. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Swords and the Fool, and then I'm also going to clarify the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. We're doing this... Total freestyle here, guys, but please clarify the Knight of Swords and the Fool for the 19th to the 21st. Please, Spirit, clarify the Knight of Swords and the Fool. The Three of Wands. Interesting. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Woo We've got something that flipped over. Here we go. Ah, there's the Fool again. My goodness. Just want to make sure. All right. <laughs> Underneath the deck is the High Priestess here, okay? Um, ooh, we've got the Six of Swords. Yeah, all right. We've got the Six of Swords in reverse, the Fool, the Three of Wands, but then also the Ten of Wands here. So I'm going to start with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords in reverse is, is someone that's really just staying in their old mindset. They have, it, it, it's like there's no impetus to move forward. And it's almost as if, wow, it's like, okay, um, they, they, they want a new start with the fool, okay? I have, we have the fool clarifying the fool right now, all right? Um, and this just doesn't feel good. This feels just foolish, naive. And now the Page of Wands can be a naive character as well, Um but then with the Six of Swords here, it's almost as if someone is expecting to have a new start, to jump in or to like, to be able to just like start a new cycle without clearing out the old. Um, wow. 
And it's, okay, and see here, they're carrying all these burdens and they're waiting for some sort of return on an investment in some way. And I really feel like it's these wands that this person is carrying that is causing them to not change the way they think about the change their mindset around the situation. And so that's why this energy is foolish. That's why I'm getting an, a, a, a foolish energy because it's almost as if they expect to be to be able to restart the cycle without it's like it's like the definition of ins insanity, doing things the same way over and over expecting to get a different result. <laughs> and with the high priestess underneath the deck, That is, the high priestess here is speaking to similar energies of the moon, okay? This is concealment. Again, this is secrets and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's like, I literally, when I looked at the high priestess, because she was up here, right? I looked at the high priestess and she literally, to me, looked like she was looking down on this situation and just shaking her head like, good Lord. Seriously? And so then this is why she's appearing here as the all-knower, all-knowing one, but that's just keeping secrets. That's just like not talking about it. So that's just like, again, she's saying, good Lord, here we go again. But all right, fine. I'm just going to keep my concealment. Not really going to talk about it. Just going to let this, let this flounder about. <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep the high priestess here. Yeah, and underneath that is the Four of Cups. Someone is not going to accept an offer. Not going to, because it's just the same old shit. <laughs> All right, I want to clarify now the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. Nine of Swords, Page of Cups. Nine of Swords, Page of Cups. Please, here we go. Ah, the Four of Pentacles. But that is in reverse. That's where the anxiety is coming from. Again, someone has released something. Someone has let something go. They're not holding on to it anymore. Okay. Woo! All right. That's a lot, guys. There's that King of Swords again. Okay, wait. All of this is all too much. This is all too much. I'm just going to take what fell. Okay, that's the right one. Yep. Okay. So, underneath the deck, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I, I'm hearing you reap what you sow. <laughs> and that's been coming out a lot lately. We've got, ooh boy, we've got the Knight of Wands. We've got the World. Ooh, we've got the Empress in reverse. And we've got the Sun in reverse. This is repeating a message of the Divine Feminine has left the building. And that's what came out in um, the Weekly Twin Flame reading. That doesn't necessarily have to apply with just Twin Flames, okay? Everyone has Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine within them. Or everyone has Feminine and Masculine energy within them. But either way, I really feel an energy of, with the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups, somebody wants to is up in their heads and kind of wants to apologize because... The feminine has left the building. But you see, the sun is here with that. And that's a good thing. Because this is a blessing in disguise. It's a blessing and a curse also, but it's not really a curse. Because ultimately someone is learning something from it. This is an end to... This is... Okay, so what was has been released here with the Four of Pentacles in reverse is... The Knight of Wands energy, wishy-washiness, someone coming in hot and heavy and leaving just as quickly as they came, okay? this And so an end, a stop has been put to this. Why? Because the feminine energy here is like, no, I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that at all, actually. I deserve more. I deserve to be with someone or to have someone in my life that's not just going to cut and run whenever they feel like it. 
ultimately this is a good thing, especially because the sun came out. So if someone is feeling like they can't apologize or they can't communicate effectively the way they want to, or at least the way they need to, there is a reason for it. But ultimately, something is being learned from it. Something is being illuminated here with the sun in reverse and also the seven of pentacles. Again, you reap what you sow. Wow. That's really intense, guys. Really, really intense. Okay, so now let's get into the Oracle Guidance. Oh, actually, I don't want to put these away yet. I'm going to leave them out. Yeah, I'm going to leave these out. Um, but we're going to get Oracle Guidance. So Crystal Mandala deck here. Ultimately, guys, this is all good. This is all happening for a reason, okay? And that's what judgment is saying. This is this is this is facilitating a rebirth in all parties, okay? What that's gonna look like, how long that's actually the results of that are gonna take to be seen. It doesn't uh, who knows? Um everybody's on their own path, everyone's going in a different their own direction. Whatever, but ultimately, especially with the sun here, ultimately this is a good thing, okay? All right, Spirit, best message for the weekend of October 19th to the 21st. October 19th to the 21st, best message, please, Spirit. There we go. Nourishment. Okay. So already I'm picking up an energy of what truly nourishes you, what truly feeds your soul, feeds your body, feeds your spirit, feeds your mind. And it's connecting with this King of Swords and Judgment energy here. And this is definitely the energy of someone making a judgment call and saying, I no longer want to deprive myself of wholesome loving relationships. I no longer want to deprive myself of positive, high vibrational energy. I no longer want to give in to certain, to certain situations that aren't going to give back, that aren't going to be balanced, that are just going to end up destroying me in the end. This is what somebody's saying, okay? And this is what someone is wanting in their lives. And actually, this is card number 10. And 10 is a number of completions here. There's really there's really a very mature energy coming from this. It's very good. All right. Oops. Card number 10, Angel Ista and Carnelian. Nourishment. Oh, sorry, let me move my coffee. So I'll put this a little closer to the camera. There we go. Nourishment. We bring you the gift of nourishment. You are ready to grow, and to do this, you need food for your body, your mind, and your soul. We want you to feel fed with what brings you life and what helps you feel good, with what heals you, increases your energy and your power. We know what you need and what can assist your energy and your power. Oh wait, I'm sorry. We know what you need and what you can and what can assist you to grow in mind, body, and spirit. We know that life can be a banquet for the soul. There are many choices as to what you can feed yourself, and sometimes you may be confused about what is good for you and what is not. Let go of any doubt or shame, guilt or fear about being nourished now, as we guide you towards what will truly feed your life force and bring you happiness. I, that, right on point. Okay, all right, I'm gonna read this, guys. We're, go we're going in this weekend. We are going in, y'all. Choice is part of your spiritual freedom. You have the choice to feed yourself, body, mind, and soul with a variety of foods. 
from physical food to provide food, fuel to your body, to the food for thought you give to your mind. You choose how to nourish yourself on a daily basis. Sometimes there might not seem to be much of a choice, as mass media delivers a daily stream of imagery and ideas, most of which is based in fear and generates more of the same. However, being offered food and choosing to partake of it is something quite different. When food for the mind or the body is offered to you, and you know in your heart it is not going to help you, you have a choice. The choice might result in you taking in the meal or the idea because you don't want to offend the people you are with at the time. Then you will need to clear any debilitating effect of that meal from your system. This can absolutely be done, but if you choose to live that way more often than not, you will become tired and lose energy. There is a better choice you can make for yourself, if you wish and when you feel ready to do so. That different choice is to notice what is being offered to you, on a plate or in a news story, for example, and respond with compassion rather than reaction. If someone offers you a meal of fear-based reality, you can understand with your heart that this is all they are willing or capable of expressing in that moment. With the light in your mind, you can see clearly that although it may seem harmless enough to that person, you know it is not a good meal for you. You'd prefer to sustain yourself on healthier and more nurturing, strengthening fare. The love you choose to act on for yourself in that moment is going to contribute far more constructive energy to the world than if you tried to fit it in with others, or I'm sorry, than if you tried to fit in with others and deny your right to genuine nourishment, just to keep another comfortable with their own more fearful choices of food for body and mind. If you are to say yes to food that heals you, it also means reading material that feels good to read, consuming imagery that feels good to consume, and eating food that has a positive effect on your body and emotions. Saying yes to nourishment means saying no to foods that sap your energy and drain you. That will likely mean saying no to physical food that is highly processed with additives that damage your body and diminish your energy. Many spiritual aspirants undermine their own efforts on the spiritual path because they do not feed themselves properly to support their body and mind to do the incredible spiritual tasks that they are here to do. You do not have to feel guilty about this if you feel this applies to you. Part of your journey may have involved moving through a less healthy time to realize several things. Compassion, understanding of how health can support your spiritual growth and ability to feel joy and vitality, being some examples. Perhaps part of your journey is to heal your own health and then inspire others to do the same. Part of your journey may well involve learning how to love and respect yourself enough to truly take care of your needs, even if that means unlearning what you have been taught to explore less fearful and more nourishing ways of eating. You do not have to become afraid of the junk foods and ideas that exist in the world, just aware and decisive about what you want to take in and what you prefer to release. The King of Swords. And the King of Swords came out twice, guys. Okay? It came out as a clarifier the first time, and now it's come out for the second half of... You see? <laughs> Confirmation. <laughs> it takes courage, strength, and will to choose to be healthy in a world that has some very mixed up ideas about what this means. Health is based on love, not domination, shame, or control. It increases joy and doesn't make you miserable or ashamed. Feeling nourished in body and mind gives you a sense of inner security and support that can help you take the steps you need to live up to your amazing divine potential. Wow. I mean, that is it's right on point, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to close the meeting here with messages from the oracle or from the um oh gosh what deck is this eric <laughs> whispers of love there we go sorry Whew. wow this was a strong one guys this really was a strong one all right so here we go all right, best messages, please, Spirit, for the weekend of October 19th, 2021st. October 19th to the 21st, please, Spirit. Ooh. I kind of wanted to jump out. Didn't quite make it. Weekend of October 19th to the 21st. 19th. 
good thing first. Okay, I'm gonna get one more shuffle. There you go. All right, there it is, right there. 19 to the 21st. Okay, well, we have a repeating message here underneath the deck. We have "Be authentic to who you are." That did come out earlier in the week, but um, and actually, that really applies. So I'm gonna take it because being authentic to who you are means. Um, taking in the nourishment that's really going to help feed your soul, okay? This is not about um, kowtowing. It's not about, um, you know, it's really no longer about giving in to situations that are destructive, that are harmful to you just for the sake of someone else. And that doesn't even have to mean, like, that could be... Um, doing these things to get someone else's approval. You don't need someone else's approval other than your own. So if you're being inauthentic just to fit in, that is destructive, okay? So this absolutely resonates with the reading, but then also we have physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a, a, a hug to someone who needs it. That's a very interesting message here. So we're talking about physical nourishment here with this message, okay? The, as I'm channeling, I'm trying to connect the dots, um, this talks about nourishment of the physical body. There it is right there, boop, physical nourishment, okay? Um, being willing to accept what it is your body needs in order to feel whole, complete, healthy, and happy, and satisfied, yeah? And not being afraid to go after that. Physical touch, and I'm really seeing it in the sense of what's touching your body physically? What is nourishing your body physically? Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back, or giving a hug to someone who needs it. And honestly, if you're connecting with people or if you've been connecting with people that don't, that are not willing to honor this, then, and this is something that you desire, then look for it, go after it. Connect with or, res or, or attract or align. Don't chase. Missy um, says that. We do not chase, we align, okay? So, Align with the people that will be able to honor this for you. Align with the people that will allow you to be authentic to who you are, okay? And it's just funny, it's funny. I just saw 4747 on the counter and this is card number 47. <laughs> which which boils down to an 11, guys. Boop, hee hee hee. Okay, so there it is. There are your messages for this weekend. I hope uh, this resonated with you. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I'm sending you guys so much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!